The flip tool is a great way to mirror objects along an axis and to add the option to make copies at the same time. So for example, let's take this island here. If I decided that I wanted the dishwasher on the other side, since this is you know, a main walkway and I wanna flip it, I can select the entire island, I've grouped it all together, and I can grab the flip tool here, this guy. Now I have a few different options. I have red, green, blue, and some magenta options, but the main ones that we're gonna look at are the red, green, and blue. So it's flipping along each axis. So we're um, taking a look at the blue first, that's our vertical axis, so it's gonna flip it and mirror it along the blue. If I click there, obviously it's upside down, mirroring itself along the blue. Here along the green, front to back, it's not what we're looking for. We are looking for the red. So if I click on the red, you can see that it's now mirrored the entire group and the dishwasher is now on the correct side. Now I can hit spacebar and let's take a look at this countertop over here. So flipping is just one option. Flipping and adding a copy at the same time is a great option with the flip tool. So I would like to mirror this countertop here over here. I don't want to just flip it in place. I want to mirror it and make a copy. So I'm going to pre-select my countertop group, click on the flip tool, and now I have those same options. I have the red, green, and blue. In this case, I would like to grab the red because I would basically like to make a copy of it, lay it down on the opposite side. So to do that, I'm going to also click on the option tool you can, or the option key. If you ever forget, you can always look in the lower left-hand corner to see what the modifier key is for the action that you're trying to accomplish. Option equals toggle flip copy. If you're on a Windows machine, that is going to be the control key. So if I tap my option key, you can see a plus sign appears next to my cursor that looks like the flip tool toggle that on and off. When the plus sign is on, that means it will also make a copy. So if I click on the red here and then hit spacebar, it has also made a copy that I can now use over here, but it is flipped. You can see in the texture here that it is flipped. It's a mirror of itself. Now I don't want to have to figure out how to place that. So instead I'll take it one step further. I'm going to undo that. We're going to pre-select the countertop here, grab the flip tool, and now I can click and drag the red here and then let go. It will mirror it using the same spacing. And I still have the option to add that modifier key, the option key in the very next step, that being making it a copy. So I didn't quite get it exactly lined up. I should have used a different midpoint. I used the stove, which may have a few different um, edges in here. So instead, I'm going to use the midpoint of the hood here. So I'll undo that one more time, pre-select the countertop, grab my flip tool, and in one swoop, I'm going to click drag the red and line it up with the midpoint in the hood above. Let go and then tap my option key to make the copy. Now it looks like, did I get it? It may not be, oh no, it's pretty symmetrical. We did good. So the great thing about this is if it's a component, any changes I make to one side will get made to the other, like overhang, if I made this into a waterfall, if um, you know, I changed out the texture, so this is a great way to mirror copy at the same time. Let's do that one more time up here. Gonna delete these to show you. Hold down shift on my selection to grab these. Click on the flip tool. Click drag to the midpoint of the hood and let go. And if I tap my option key or my control key on a Windows, it will add those copies if it is the very next key that I press. If I hit spacebar and do anything else, I lose that opportunity to add that modifier key to make that copy. But I can always just uh, make a copy and then move them into place. You know, it's a combination of things that you can do, but that 
click drag of the plane is a really good option for choosing that spacing. So I'm basically saying from here to here to the midpoint, please use that same spacing on the other side, but make it a mirror of itself. Hope that helps. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.